The sky crackling. Floods rushing. Tornadoes swirling and wildfires blazing. These overwhelming phenomena create devastation wherever they go. But imagine if we could harness nature's most powerful occurrences. Welcome to what if, and here's what could unfold if we could manipulate natural disasters. First, let's discuss tornadoes. These twisters can wreak havoc on a massive scale, particularly in areas prone to their formation. They generate an immense force, equivalent to an atomic bomb detonating every few seconds. That's simply incredible. Tornadoes gain power from contrasting air, temperatures, and wind patterns. So if we could somehow alter these conditions, we might be able to weaken the twisters or even prevent them from developing. One proposal is to use large-scale wind, barriers to disrupt the airflow needed for tornadoes to form. It sounds intriguing, right? However, there's a catch. It would be an enormous undertaking, and we can't predict its impact on the environment. Plus, we'd have to determine where to install these wind barriers and how to maintain them. It's astonishing, but wildfires occur globally, with millions of acres burning. Annually, these fires can cause severe damage, especially in drought-stricken regions. Wildfires are often caused by human activity or lightning strikes, making them difficult to control. But what if we could suppress fires before they become unstoppable? One method is to use drones equipped with advanced sensors and fire retardant to detect and extinguish small fires before they spread. It's an innovative concept, but there's a risk of unintended consequences, such as interfering with firefighting efforts or causing ecological imbalance. And we'd have to determine the most efficient way to deploy these drones on a large scale. Blizzards are another force to be reckoned with. Heavy snow and strong winds can create hazardous conditions, causing transportation disruptions and even fatalities. To mitigate the impact of blizzards, we could potentially modify cloud formations to reduce snowfall in targeted areas. Imagine using cloud seeding technology to change the course of a storm or even prevent it from happening altogether. It's a daring idea, but it's also fraught with uncertainty. Tampering with weather patterns can have unforeseen consequences, such as altering climate systems or causing droughts in other regions. Plus, we'd have to determine the ethical implications of controlling the weather. The truth is, if we could manipulate natural disasters, we face some significant questions. Like who would have the authority to decide when and how to intervene? And how can we be sure that we're not causing more harm than good? Interfering with nature could yield unpredictable outcomes. We must weigh the pros and cons of our actions and ensure we're not creating more problems than solutions. And we'd have to collaborate as a global community to make these decisions. So what lies ahead for controlling natural disasters? Scientists are tirelessly working to devise new methods and technologies. They're utilizing satellite data to track climate trends, developing sophisticated computer models to forecast disasters, and even researching materials that can withstand extreme conditions. But until we can manipulate natural disasters, we must focus on improving our preparedness and understanding how to respond when they occur. That means enhancing our early warning systems, constructing resilient infrastructure, and educating people on how to stay safe during a disaster. It's thrilling to contemplate the future of natural disaster management, and speaking of the future, what if we could colonize the moon? What obstacles would we encounter? And how could life on Earth's satellite transform our future?